sometimes we all crave some greasy, fried, cheap, and unhealthy food just for the indulgence of it. We're wired to love sugar, fat, and salt because they're vital to the body properly functioning. Additionally, our brain's pleasure center activates when we eat salt, sugar, and fat. In fact, it craves even more because human beings evolved from a time when these elements were scarce. Another charm of ordering fast food is that you can get it almost anywhere. Thanks to the vast number of fast food restaurants available, you can literally find junk food everywhere on this planet. Another reason we love fast food is that, for some strange reason, it's friggin' delicious. In most cases. Sometimes, though, it can be really gross. I'm Mike with this 25 and if you're trying to stop eating junk food but need a little boost, the following list of the 25 grossest things you won't believe are found in fast food will definitely help you on your mission to eat healthier food. Twenty five. On the night of November 27th, 2000, Mrs. Catherine Ortega from Virginia bought a box of fried chicken wings at a McDonald's restaurant and took it home to her family. While dishing it up to feed her children, Ortega noticed that one of the pieces looked, well, a little strange. Examining it more closely, she saw it had eyes and a beak. She screamed. It wasn't a wing at all, she realized. It was a chicken's head, battered, fried, and fully intact. 24. In 1997, a man named Jeff Bowling found a rolled-up condom when he bit into a Big Mac. This unpleasant discovery made him violently ill. No surprise there. Bowling sued McDonald's immediately, but the famous fast food chain's management denied any wrongdoings. Perhaps biting a condom instead of a pickle should be fully expected when you eat there. 23. If you thought that Big Macs are only served with condoms at McDonald's, then you're sadly mistaken. They're also served with Happy Meals. In 2009, a Swiss seven-year-old girl discovered a condom in a McDonald's Happy Meal. Freiburg State Police in Switzerland said that the mother called them right after her daughter discovered the condom among her French fries. Apparently, McDonald's has very high standards on an international level. No complaints there. 22. Kate Barrett from England bought a jar of extra special tikka masala sauce from a local Asda store in Cornwall. After she emptied the jar on her pasta, she noticed that the sauce was a bit lumpy. After looking a little closer, she noticed a deceased mouse. Asda claimed this was an isolated incident and apologized for it. The specific product is no longer on sale there. 21. A Dutchman who stopped at McDonald's for an early breakfast discovered a deep-fried cockroach attached to the hash brown he bought. He didn't freak out, though. He just took a photo and posted it on Facebook. The photo showed a crushed cockroach with splaying wings plastered to the potato cake. The man said the cockroach was hidden from sight by the paper with which the hash brown was served. Luckily, he didn't eat it. 20. In 2011, an East Texas woman named Stephanie Granger bit into a razor blade in a carton of great value ice cream. This may not sound as gross as some of the other um, delicious contents on this list, but it's more dangerous than most of them. Regardless, Granger handled the situation like a boss. She didn't blame or sue anyone for that unfortunate incident, but she made sure to ask Walmart to make sure this wouldn't happen again. 19. In 2016, an image depicting a deep-fried rat's head went viral. It had been served to a very unlucky customer at a Harlem-area Popeye's chicken outlet. Some people claimed that it wasn't really a rat's head, but some other organ from a chicken's body. Myth or not, the picture of this fried piece of chicken doesn't look all that appealing. 18. David Scheiding from Dayton, Ohio, made about $50,000 in 2005 for finding human skin in his chicken sandwich. Scheiding realized something wasn't right when he bit into the sandwich and found a piece of flesh about three-fourths of an inch long. The manager claimed that he had sliced skin from his thumb while shredding lettuce and sanitized the area, but didn't throw away the bin of lettuce. For Scheiding's bad luck, his sandwich contained that tainted lettuce. Well... 
I'm not sure if it was that dad of luck. You, you don't make $50,000 every day. <laughs> Kidding. 17. Rebecca Shorten was hospitalized for a few days before her wedding for all the wrong reasons. What happened to her? Well, the poor girl swallowed a nail buried in a Tesco-ready meal. Shorten was biting into the macaroni and cheese when she bit down on what she thought was an extra crispy strip of pasta. When she found two more nails in the snack, she realized that it wasn't crispy pasta that she had just swallowed. After having a mini panic attack, she went to the hospital. The x-ray confirmed that the nail was in her body, and poor Rebecca had to wait for it to exit the natural way. 16. A milkshake lover in Downey, California got more than he asked for when he stopped by In-N-Out Burger for dinner. Fred Maldondo noticed two capsules in the bottom of his cup after finishing his burger and shake. According to his claims, he tested the capsules and found out that they contained methamphetamine. When he went back to the restaurant, the manager apologized and offered him a free burger. Not pleased with the response, he decided to sue the chain. In and out called the allegations baseless. 15. Imagine taking a bite out of a delicious donut, but ending up with a piece of sharp metal in your mouth. This is exactly what happened to two poor guys who purchased a dozen donuts at Smith's Food and Drug Store in Draper, Utah back in 2013. For the record, the donuts were not made in the Smith's Bakery, but were manufactured out of state and sent to that store in sealed tamper-proof packaging according to the bakery spokeswoman. 14. Jack Pendleton found what he would least expect while dining with his friends at TGI Fridays, a snakehead the size of his thumb mixed within his vegetables. TGI Fridays director immediately asked the New York State Police to open a criminal investigation on the case. After the snakehead was sent for testing at an independent laboratory, it was confirmed that it had never been cooked, but instead had been added to the cooked broccoli. The question is, who would do such a thing? A mad ex-girlfriend or something? We'll probably never know. 13. Axel Sands Klaus, a tourist from Germany, was enjoying a perfect visit to New York City until he had his first dinner there. He ordered steak and spinach from the Bull and Bear Steakhouse at Waldorf Astoria. Sands Klaus realized that something not very delicious was hiding in his food. What exactly was it? A used tampon. I had it in my mouth, chewed it, and nearly swallowed it, said poor Sans Klaus. Yeah, I, I agree. This is definitely the kind of experience that can traumatize you for the rest of your life. 12. In 2010, a deceased rat was found inside a tin of baked beans. The rat climbed or fell into the tin at the factory, according to a post-mortem which established it had been entombed during tinning. A cook discovered the rodent upon opening the catering tin. Britain's most famous baked bean manufacturer, Heinz, issued a statement denying it was in any way connected to the incident. After that truly gross incident, public analysts found a good chance to highlight the whole thing as an extreme example of the kind of public health risks in the food system. 11. Olivia Shans was peacefully eating her hot dog in the food court at the Costco Superstore in Irvine, California, when she bit into something hard. It turned out to be a live 9mm round. After she went to the hospital with abdominal pains, x-rays revealed another round in her stomach. Police questioned Costco workers and searched through the food court's remaining packages of Hebrew National hot dogs, but found no more bullets. 10. A woman from New York claimed that she bit into a needle lodged in a breakfast sandwich at a Burger King back in 2001. She quickly filed a lawsuit seeking $11 million in damages after the incident. Angelina Cruz claimed that she endured significant psychological and physical damages after the incident and that the whole thing made her live with the constant fear that she might have contracted an infectious disease. All right, she may be exaggerating a little, but can you blame her? 9. In 2005, a woman from California named Lauren Coleman claimed to find a Band-Aid in her McDonald's french fries. After picking up lunch in a McDonald's drive through Coleman grabbed a handful of french fries and placed them in her mouth. She quickly noticed that the texture was way off. 
She spat out what she was attempting to eat and realized that her fries didn't have ketchup, but instead some good old Band-Aid sauce. Oh. Aiden. It was New Year's Day when Sue Calhoun and her husband took a trip to Dallas to pick up a new tractor. The woman grabbed a candy bar to eat while on the road. After she took a couple of bites, she felt like something wasn't right. Initially, she thought that it was just a peanut, but she quickly realized that this was more than just a peanut. Her Milky Way candy bar contained a tooth with a silver filling. Every time I think about it, I kind of get sick to my stomach because I don't know what kind of mouth it came out of, said poor Calhoun. 7. Fred Denegri was grilling in his backyard when he cracked open a can of Diet Pepsi, took a thirsty gulp, and immediately started gagging. The flavor of his Pepsi was rank, and the texture was thick like slime. He immediately took it to a sink and shook out the contents until something resembling pink linguine slid out, followed by dark stuff. Despite persistent shaking, a heavy object remained inside the can. Completely disgusted, the Denegris called Poison Control and the FDA, and the can was taken in for lab testing to identify the source of the sludgy mess. They found a dead frog in the bottom of the can. 6. Mark Nichols from Australia chewed into what he thought was a piece of chicken breast, but he ended up feeling sick when he realized what it was. It was disgusting. It was absolutely vile, the man said. And I can't blame him. See, the piece he paid for wasn't a chicken breast, but more likely a lung or kidney. KFC, however, calmly claimed that it was just a little human mistake during cutting and that such things happen to everyone. 5. A South Dakota man had the bad luck of finding a dead mouse in a can of Coca-Cola. However, the soda titan shamelessly defended itself in the lawsuit in a rather stomach-churning fashion. The lawyers of Coca-Cola claimed that if the mouse was really in the Coke can, it should have been more decomposed than it was. 4. A man claimed that he was nearly cut when he found a knife baked into the bun of a cold-cut 12-inch sandwich he bought at a Subway restaurant in New York City. John Agnesini knew from the very first bite that his lunch didn't taste right. The 27-year-old was horrified to find a 7-inch serrated blade in the bread. Fortunately, he was lucky enough not to slash the side of his mouth and end up looking like the Joker. 3. In 2005, Anna Ayala was dining at a San Jose Wendy's restaurant when she claimed she chomped down on a partially cooked segment of a human finger. The fast food chain suffered an estimated $21 million in lost business. Truth be told, however, it wasn't the fast food chain's fault. It was later proven that Ayala prepared the piece of ring finger at her Las Vegas home, then drove it to San Jose, where she dropped it into the chili. Still... Ew. 2. A customer of a Louisville KFC slash Taco Bell claimed that she found human blood all over her order. Brianna Ralston and her one-year-old daughter were already home and had already eaten part of their dinner by the time she discovered what looked like human blood on the bag and wrappers. When she called the Taco Bell to complain, she was told that the blood came from an employee who had cut her finger. Pfft, no biggie, right Taco Bell? 1. A mother in Newcastle, England was horrified when her stepson bit into a deep-fried blue paper towel. The two of them purchased takeout from a KFC branch in Killingsworth, according to the Express. At home, Oliver took a bite out of what he assumed was chicken. He recoiled at the taste. I only hope it wasn't a used paper towel. So, what's the most disgusting thing you've ever found in a fast food meal? Sandwich? Whatever. And you know what? Don't just say, oh, McDonald's is gross. Like, something that shouldn't have belonged. If you don't like fast food, I get it. Not everyone does. That doesn't mean it's not supposed to be there. Things that aren't supposed to be in your food, what's the grossest thing you've ever found? Or most dangerous. Some of these, like I said, weren't gross, but dangerous. So, strangest thing you've ever found in your food. Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at List25. Enjoying our lists? 
be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.